Good evening. Welcome back. F the police, right? That's the sentiment. Especially if you're in Minneapolis. So due to four bad apples, the uh, city council voted to disband the entire department. That seems to be some growing sentiment nationwide. So how do you seek to maintain the rule of law without a police department? This goes back to the, uh, the origin of the thought of our prepared citizen. If you go back to the days, if you go back to the days of the wild, wild west, before there were no city police forces, county police forces, you had um, people policing themselves. That's how you got things like vigilante justice and lynch mobs. And um, lynch mobs by no means were exclusive to post-Civil War and Reconstruction era South. Throughout the, um, the 1800s and previous, it wasn't uncommon for a lynch mob to be formed to go after someone that they didn't like. It just took prominence and prevalence in the Reconstruction Era South when uh, the Democrats, I mean the Klan, I mean the Democrats, would uh, put on their white sheets and basically go murder a freed slave. Now, don't think you're going to see roving bands of Klansmen in the 21st century because those guys are pretty much freaking despised by everyone. Um, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't take much to lynch the lynch mob if that were the case. But how do you seek justice if there is no forcing body to arrest people for committing a crime. Forget the low-lying stuff like parking tickets, um, you know, like uh, disorderly conducts and stuff like that. What about the big stuff like assaults and murders? How do you seek redress for that? DA isn't going to show up at your door. band of citizens to make an arrest for some crime committed? I don't know about that one either. I mean, you could, you could argue this from two sides of the coin, right? You could say there are those people of the socialist, communist, social justice warrior class that would use a lack of law enforcement to enforce their own rule on people. And then, if you're them, you could say people like us, the Patriots, or in their mind, the Op 4, opposing force, to force their will and ways on people who don't want it. You know, hey, basically, we don't like John Doe. We think... He murdered someone, so we're going to arrest him. In the course of arresting him, eh, bad things happen. Right? Now, before somebody says that happens with police departments, 
just look at the current situation. Yeah, you're right, it does. However, you've got a professional class, or what's supposed to be a professional class of people that can be held accountable for misdeeds and wrongdoings. So back to my original question. If we disband your police, who do you call when you're the victim of a crime? Vigilante justice, mob rule, is not the way to do it. Or at least not in my mind. I don't want to be the uh, on the receiving end of mob rule, vigilante justice. <clears throat> How do you not become a victim? Hell, how do you not become a victim of a crime in a society where there's no one to enforce the law? It falls back on you to be responsible for your own safety and well-being as an armed prepared citizen. What steps can you take? break my jobs for smoking. What steps can you take to not be a victim? I would contend that you would take the same steps to not being a victim in that society that you wouldn't miss in that you don't put yourself in a position to be victimized. What do I mean by that? In the case of that deer, don't run in front of a full-size pickup truck doing 45 miles an hour. In the case of the rest of us, I would say have the tools to self-defense. The uh, ability to know how to use them. Have your line in the sand for at which point you are going to enact your self-defense protocols. What I think is more important at this point then F the police we don't need no stinking cops whatever we're going to disband the police department okay take a step back and look at the man that was killed a man that shouldn't have been killed who was protested whose death was protested and rightfully so but that's morphed from protest to basically, I guess, hijacking his death and using it as an excuse to go create chaos and disorder in the world around you by certain groups of people who would happily bring about chaos and disorder in an effort to affect their societal change. And this has gone from George Floyd, a man murdered by a shitbag cop well, three other shitbag cops stood around and watched to, we need to bring about the downfall of capitalism, we need to bring about the downfall of all police, we need to bring about the downfall of the white man, we 
need to bring about the downfall of basically this whole society that is stacked up against one small group of people. yesterday afternoon trying to find a dry cleaner that was open. Thanks, Corona. Um, to have patches sewn on my short sleeve uniform shirts. I saw probably four or five anarchist symbols spray painted on underpasses, billboards, and the backs of signs between Stroudsburg and Martians Creek, and those towns mean nothing to most of the people watching this, but if you're curious, Google Maps, them. they're not big cities, they're not medium-sized cities, I would say Martians Creek is probably a small town, Stroudsburg and East Stroudsburg are large towns. As a microcosm of that, one of the things that I went to do while I was searching for an open dry cleaner was hit up the, uh, the local gun shop to pick up a few things that I didn't necessarily need, but I definitely wanted. Um, and I'll try again next week. But that place was picked clean, too. I mean, the only thing left on the shelf was, like, 22 pistols and a bunch of revolvers. So obviously people get it that they're responsible for their own self-defense. The bigger question why is it coming to that? Because there are forces at play. That would love, love to see the downfall of the United States. would love to see the downfall of our capitalist society. That would love to usher in some kind of utopian open society one world globalist I don't know what litter box. There you go. A human litter box. That's where they're going with this. The people that would bring about this human litter box, I'm going to keep that one. Um, are willing to do so by any means necessary. I mean, all you need to do is look at what happened to New York, Philly, um, LA, Chicago, any of those big cities where they were allowed to run rampant and destroy and destroy and destroy because that's all they know how to do. What 
does it come back to? Chance of F the police. Screw the man, right? That's where society's going. And this isn't getting any better. It may die down in waves. But it's going to be that ascending wave. Where each next rise is a greater rise in violence than the one before it. You have the responsibility to plan for your own self-defense, your own well-being, and your own survival. Because I don't think it's going away. It may get better for a tick. But next time, it'll be on a grander scale. Larger stream. And so on and so forth. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time for one night. If you enjoy the content, like, share, and subscribe. If not, hey, your refund will be in about two seconds. Be safe. Watch your six. Out for now.